Hey folks, what's going on? Welcome. <clears throat> if I didn't lose my voice, boom. Welcome to the Farm Sim Show. How are you guys doing today? What is going on? We're checking out brand new mods once again for Farming Sim 19. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Who's in here? We got Dirk, Glenn, Richard. How you doing, buddy? Diesel, how's it going, man? <laughs> Cody, Joshua. Uh, let's take a look and see what we got today. We've got eight new mods for all platforms. We got two new mods for console for PC. Sorry. Uh, we got a couple updates as well. Some kind of interesting updates. Uh, a lot of tractors today, actually, for for new mods. How are you guys doing? Thanks for stopping in. So, like I said, brand new show. Uh, this is the last day of the week for this show, to be honest with you. I uh, won't be doing anything tomorrow. There'll be no Farm Sim, uh, Farm Sim show tomorrow. It'll be going until Monday. Just a heads up on that front. But without any further ado, let's dive in. We'll jump in and take a look at a couple of these mods. Like I said, we got eight mods for console, two mods for PC, and I'm losing my voice. <laughs> hey, DJ. What's going on, buddy? No, it's an update. It's an update. Oh, good to see you, buddy. How are you doing today? Good to see you, DJ. Let's uh, let's dive in. We'll see what we got on the old list here of things that are going on. Boom, boom, excellent. All right, all right, all right, all right. Um, like I said, eight new mods. <clears throat> we got a new snowblower. We got a bunch of new tractors. Um, kind of updates to tractors, I should say. Uh, stuff that we've kind of got before, but things that are different a little bit now. Uh, things are looking good though. So like a couple tractors. One is for PC only. Unfortunately, but we kind of knew that was coming considering that was on the mods and testing list yesterday. Um, the new art mechanic trailer, which is absolutely massive for animals. We'll look at that. Uh, there's not much to talk about, unfortunately, on it. There's not a lot of moving parts to it. But anyways, we'll take a look at it. Do a logging series. We're not doing no logging series. Is it seven? I got eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then if I scroll down, is this not enough? Is this is the fence not new? I'm looking at the fence down here as well. The wooden gates as well as seasons. Technically, those are new, right? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Am I missing one that's an update, DJ? I might have missed one. Is the Argo an update? I guess it technically is, isn't it? It technically is an update. It. I don't know why they list it as new. But they're giving the, the release date as today. I didn't have the old one in my files, which I'm using on my other on my series. I didn't think it was new. I thought it might be the same one. But anyways, we'll go take a look at it anyways. Um, it's changed a little bit. Not a lot. But I guess there is a change log. So anyways. I think the fence silver and you get the different colors. We'll take a look at that first, to be perfectly honest, because I think it's cool. I like it. Version 2.0, yeah, exactly. Self-marketing are definitely updates for sure. Yeah, we looked at self-marketing before. We can look at that right now, actually, while we're talking about it. Um, the big thing with self-marketing, I love the buildings. <laughs> These new updated buildings are awesome. Um, I don't think we had those before. Did we have the cow building before? I don't think we did. But anyways, more abilities for selling milk and potatoes. Um, I don't remember seeing these buildings when I last time I used this. I could be wrong. Anthony, thank you so much, buddy. I appreciate the uh, the super chat. And hello for Fort Mac. Diesel, that's right. You're from Fort Mac, anyways. So there's been a couple updates. Nothing crazy. We're not going through this in depth. Uh, like I said, this is the self marketing we've had before. They're really good sell points, actually. If you guys don't have these already installed, they actually give you a pretty good profit for everything. I do like those, but we're not going in depth on the updates on those. Um, so the Agro 1000 series, I wasn't sure if it was an update, but there it is, change log 2.0. We've got these before. We'll take a look, quick look at it anyways, just to see what the changes are, because there are quite a few options now for, uh, for updates on it. Um, it's actually a pretty good update in the grand scheme of things. Just looking through the list, when I was looking through it before, I was going to say I didn't see the change log, but I knew we had a ton of options for this bad boy. It's one of the tractors that I have been using on Hazard County. I've been using the Challenger series. But speaking of which, let's take a look. Let's dive into it right now. So I've got actually all three of the uh, the versions of that tractor right in front of us, right here. So we have the uh, the fence, just kind of normal green, but with the row crops. And the row crops do look pretty good because they're nice and separated. And they actually line up, which is nice. Most of the case stuff doesn't line up, I find. So this one does look pretty good. Uh, there's the Challenger, of course, with just duels. And this, this one has the forestry pack on it. So you have an option now of going with a forestry roll bar on it. You don't see that. I don't think I've seen another tractor, a new Ridge tractor that has that as an option. Oh, let's change my screen. Boom. There we go. Usually helps if we have the screen up. So there we go. Challenger with the roll bar. I don't think we've seen this with uh, a roll bar before. This is the first time I've seen one with a roll bar. It, it looks good. I like that. I have a, a little bit different. And then, of course, like I said, the roll crops, which you guys didn't see. There we go. We got the roll crops on the fence. It looks all right. Um, like I said, the, the roll crops line up perfectly compared to the rears, which doesn't happen on some of the tractors. Uh, that's always kind of a nice add-on. I don't know why they don't make it so that all the, the row crops, they always line up front and rear. It doesn't make any sense to me. It wouldn't make sense to not have that. Uh, then we also have the regular fence in the gunmetal gray. Now, one of the big things, I look at the rims on both of these, the Challenger. This is the special edition. You've got uh, the colored rims option to go with it. 
I was like, boy, looks bad. I love it. <laughs> um, let's see if we can take a look. You know what? Let's go take a look in the store quickly while we have these open. I'm going to find them in your large tractor, I believe. There we go. 1000 series again. So you may have seen this if you had it before. Uh, there's this, the baseline Fent 1000, uh, the Vario 1000. We can go to the Challenger, or we can go the Special Edition, the Fent Gents Machinery Edition, and then as well the uh, Special one. And then there's, where's the gray? The gunmetal gray. There it is, the silver gray. So there's quite a few options in it. I don't think we had, do we have the, I don't think we had this option before, the Gens uh, Machinery Special. I don't think we had that. I think that's a new option. But uh, it, I'm, not a, I'm not a fan of that color for the Fent. For personally, I know there's some maybe, but not for me. I like this color a lot better. That looks good. Um, as far as your front loader, of course, you have a front fender option. You get rid of that. Uh, wheels, you have quite a few options there. You got Michelin's, Midas, or the Pians, and the Trelleborg, of course. And then we'll go through all these options just so you can see them. Just real quick. Oh, there's the, go down to your narrows. Of course, you have weight options. Uh, narrows, narrow rears, narrow fronts. Uh, twins, and then that should be it. Oh, no, no. We got US version. I didn't even notice that. Look at that. We got twins and then US twins. So that's interesting. I don't know if I've seen that before either, to be perfectly honest. Uh, the regular twins and then the US version with the actual, um, uh, all the bolts exposed. I don't know if I've seen that before. That's cool. Anyways, back on out. So we got quite a few options now. All an update, I suppose. I thought this was a brand new one for some reason, but I missed the change log. So, but it is pretty much the grand scheme of things. We didn't have nearly that many options available. And then, of course, oh, we didn't even look at that. We didn't even look at the roll bar. We didn't even look at it. Let's go up to, uh, we'll go with the fence. I like the, oops, the fence because I do like the look of that one. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Uh, down at the very bottom. Roll, roll bar. There you go. So it adds another 10 grand, though, if you want to add that on. But all those options do come with the, uh, the, roll, bar, the roll bar option. How much good would that really do? I see we got like a roll bar around this exhaust if you rolled that onto the exhaust i guess it's more for trees and stuff landing onto it the forest cage not really a roll bar i did disregard what i said <laughs> um and let's see here i know i know i've got two different horns i think this is the base horn and then this one here should have the air horn in it i believe <laughs> so you can change that if you want to have two different horns you have the option there you go <laughs> you've got two different options on horns um, let's move along. Let's keep on moving down the tractor line. Uh, the Fent 800. Yeah, it's, it's once again, another Fent, uh, medium sized Fent. This one I've got decked out to look, well, to go with the NMC snowblower we received. It's uh, got quite a few options as well. It's actually kind of decked out for options, just like the, uh, the other pack we have. Uh, is that medium? I thought it was medium. Maybe it's small. Or large, I mean. Not medium? Where is it? There it is. Vario 800. Never mind. I missed it. Perfect. Um, Quite a few options from your engine setup going up to, let's see, what's our mass, max horsepower on this? Uh, 287 horsepower from 226. Trelleborg, Michelin, Nokians. And then once again, there's no duels though. I thought for sure we'd get duels with this tractor, but you're seeing we only get weights. <clears throat> Wides and weights, no other options. Uh, your design, you can change your front grill if that's what you're into. And let's see, what else do we have? That is it. Uh, colors. We don't even have the full gamut of colorings, just some very bare bone ones. We'll need to get DJ to come out and add a few extra ones for us here, I think. So we've only got the orange, blue, green, uh, gray, yellow, and that's about it. And black, if that's what you want to go with. So not a, not a ton of colorings for the 800 series, but they can be updated if you're on PC, of course. But anyways, I digress. So that's the Fent 800 S4. Pretty standard stuff. Nice looking tractor, though. And it looks good inside, of course. Let's toss that out of the way and get to the back. All right, so this one here, this snowblower, I've been looking at the pictures on this for a second. Let me just bring this up quickly here. The Monster V, does it have pictures on it? There we go. Since I don't have snow on this map, it's tough for me to, uh, to show off exactly how it looks when it's in running. Um, you're looking at 7,900 bucks. There's no real options on it other than colors. You can change the color of it, but that's about it. Uh, 15 bucks a day, three meter working width, 20 kilometer an hour working speed. I, I have not tested this yet to see how it works with the snow. I know the other snowblower gave us a bit of grief when it first came out. I don't know if this one will... Uh, <laughs> there we go. Default. Use default control colors to... <laughs> um, I don't know if this one's going to give us the same amount of grief or not. I could have. I should have thrown some grass down. If I would have thrown some grass down, we could have tested it. So that's something to think about. I, I have no idea if it, if it works great or not yet. I've not tested it. It's brand new. But uh, it does give us a few options. So pull it back on in. 
though once again just colors are the only options you can change on this thing there's no other available options and it works kind of like you'd expect kind of like the milling machine you can drop it down uh you should be able to open the or assign the um excuse me i can't talk right now i'm losing my voice you can assign the spout so you can see there we can move our spout around to whatever we want to aim for you can do it manually as well actually and then last of all you have these wing arms that actually is the option. Sorry, I did. There is an options for these wing arms down at the bottom here, uh, and they can be managed. Which button is it? I just did this. This one here. Come on. Oh, there's the door. I had my menu open. I see it. Which one is it? There it is. Got that one, and this one. There we go. So you can move the wing arms back and forth, so you can push more snow into it. Uh, that is one of the options that, I, that you can get. But uh, that is about it. I don't know. How it's going to work if it's going to have any more problems than the other one does i hope that this one works flawlessly we'll see though i know the milling machine works pretty well so if it works anything like the milling machine then i'll be happy look at that good oh i've got the motor to turn off have that setting turned on anyways that's the nmc snowblower uh you're going to find that in your miscellaneous section if i didn't mess that up where's our miscellaneous section Right down at the end, NMC 65, there we go. Once again, you could do any kind of product with this though. So any kind of grains or anything you drop on the ground, you guys can just move that around. <laughs> uh, trying the mods right now, awesome. I am losing my voice today. I don't know what, I guess I was up playing for American Truck Sim last night, too long. So coloring options, the full lizard coloring gamut. True, all, all default colors equal true. <laughs> um, oh, we do have wheels that as well look at this i put this one on this one so we do have the wheels on this i don't know if there's any benefit to having the wheels on it like if i look at that um i guess you could leave it lowered and drive it around a little bit better maybe it was too heavy that might be the option for you that might be the only thing i can think of that you give you the option to have those wheels what would be the benefit of having it uh, other than that side wing attached or not pretty straightforward but i not, have not tested like i said i will give this a test later on Throw some straw down or something and see if we can do it. But as you can see from the um, from the description down here, it'll it'll pick up anything and throw anything pretty much. So from manure to whatever wheat, um, wood chips, lime seeds, yeah, it'll it'll throw everything, I guess. So I have to do some testing on that. Looks good. Move this out of the way. All right, move this on out. Back her on up. Boom. Uh, what else do we got on the list? Try to go through an order here so I don't miss anything that's come out. Uh, let's talk about the trailer quickly. Boom, boom, boom. So the Art Mechanic LS540 cattle trailer. Um, it holds a ton of animals. 100 grand, 56 cows, 64 pigs, 108 sheep you can fit in this thing, or 38 horses, but it's 100 grand. The only selectable option is the wheels on it. That is it. It looks good. I like it. Uh, let's go take a quick look over here. I've got it set up over on the side here. That's it right there. Uh, what map are you asking? This is Mid Midwest Horizon, if someone's asking what map this is on right now. This is my testing map. Uh, there you go, that's the trailer, triple axle. Yeah, it, lo it looks good, there's not a lot of options for it, that's all. Open on this one? I don't remember if it does. It doesn't open. But might, oh, it might open. No. no options for opening the back. And as well, I was hoping that maybe this one might have a rear hitch selection on the back here, so you could connect the second one behind it. But nope, you're stuck with just the one. That being said, it holds an awful lot of animals. So I don't think that's going to be a problem for you there. I mean, 108 sheep. Why can't we get something that holds chickens yet? I want something that carries chickens. Um, <laughs> uh, beside this right here, we have the Curveland. Uh, which one is the model of this? Let me pull the name off of this one. CLE430. It's simply a 4.3 meter, uh, yeah, 4.3 meter um, subsoiler. Subsoiler? Subsoiler? Yeah, it's a subsoiler. Yeah, subsoiler. 4.3 meter subsoiler, 15 grand. Takes 130 or 200 horsepower to pull. No options on it at all. You can't change the colors on it. You can't change absolutely anything on it. It is bare bones. What you see is what you get. And let's move along from that. Um, we have the Aquatrans 730. Actually, this is in the back. This little trailer. Finally made it to the Farm Sims show. Hey, Brianna, how are you doing tonight? <laughs> Today, I guess. Not tonight. It's in the morning. More three meter implements, Dirk. I know. Oh man! So the Joskin uh, water—it's a—it's this same model as the standard liquid trailer. Only this one handles milk as well. 
So it gives you the extra option. And it has a few more, well, it looks nicer in this, in this uh, stainless steel, I think, than the bare bones one. But if we go over to our animal section, we can find that. So there's the bare bones 7300 right there. If we scroll on down, we get the new one, the Aquatrans 700. It also has some milk and water, whereas the first one only does water, which is kind of the big thing. That being said, you do have a couple other options. Uh, for instance, well, we could change our frame coloring. If we go down here to the blue, or like I have it in there, it's yellow to match the rims. I don't know why, we can't change the rims, can we? No, we can't change the rims for whatever reason. I, I didn't understand that. We can change the all the accessory points, but we can't change the rim colors. So you, like you go to a blue, that just looks silly. Meanwhile, if you go back to the yellow, well, that makes sense. Um, our hose connection, that just changes the back, whether it's a connection or if you have the uh, the drinker trough. And then, of course, wheels. Large ones, large Vakians, or just your standards. That's it. Perfect. Excellent. That's the Joskin. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, let's see. What else we got left? What else do we have left? I think that is everything for console. Minus one placeable, one new placeable. Uh, make sure this is new. Yeah, it's the new the new fence. Now, let's see if I can find this. I've got it out in the field here. If we can run out in the field and find it, it's going to be fun. Go, go, go. These are all PC mods. These are all global companies. We'll get to these in a second. But as I scroll on out here, these are the new barbed wire fences that come. And they they look good. The only problem I have is trying to place them is next to impossible. Like, I actually spent a couple seconds trying to line these up. But to try to see where that fence is right there, you can see the barbed wire comes to it. So hard. And then you have the gate. One is a gate right there. That's the gate. You can move that. But trying to line the barbed wire fence up is so tough. It's so difficult. So if you go into your store, you find that uh duration is miscellaneous. I think it's miscellaneous. There you go. If you're gonna find you get a two meter, two meter or four meter fence, uh, a stake, you get a gate, and you get a corner. Now trying to just take so we'll just take a two meter fence, like a simple, just a simple two meter fence, and try and line this up. Like it's just trying to to judge the difference. I find even with like the regular wooden fence panels, trying to, to line it up is not easy. And now trying to do it with this, like, that's my best guess right there. And I missed by a mile. I didn't, I could have taken more time to line that up, I suppose, but still not a great system. We need to find a better system to snap these into place. I just wish you could do that. Hey, Sharky, how you doing, my friend? Like trying to find a way to snap these, if they could snap into place somehow and say, yep, yeah, you're connected. I don't know if there's a better system out there, but I find this so tedious. Trying to line that up. Let's see, how close was I there? There we go. I think that's, oh, that's as best I've got. It goes right on through. Anyways, that's the, the barbed wire fence pack. I like it. I just wish they were like a lot longer stretches so you could do like a whole field and they, they snapped into place. I wish there was a way you could do that. Anyways, um, <laughs> moving on down the road. I think we're on to PC mods. And it's only one really, oh, actually two. Two PC mods. Uh, first of all, we have the Dugulami, the Dugulem, 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 I think it's French, and I actually know a little bit of French. Uh, Sharky, you know some French. Dugulem, V-Line trailer, <laughs> uh, two-axle trailer, robust quality, yada, yada, yada. 35,000 box capacity, you have an option of changing your capacity from 23,000 to 27,000. You have a couple different tire options. Uh, I've got that sitting over on the store here somewhere. Where did I put that thing? It's running over here at the back someplace. Where is it? There she is. So I've got the extension on this one, I think. Hey, Keegan, what's going on? There we go. There is the uh, the trailer itself. I don't, did I put the extension on it? I don't think I did. Relatively straightforward. Just another loading trailer. Let's go take a look. Make sure I didn't... I can't remember if I put it on or not now off the top of my head. Where is it? Right down at the end. 35 grand with the trailer, with the extension. Oh, didn't put the extension on. There you go. That's what the extension looks like. You can see it bounces up on top. Uh, Michelin's or Trelleborg's, and then the Michelin's also, or the Trelleborg's also have wides. So it does say a few options. There's not that many options. No coloring options, no other options available for anything else. Um, yeah, pretty straightforward stuff. All right, and then moving along, this was probably my, the, the mod I was most excited about, um, the Raba. Now we have a Raba that was updated as well. Now the update for the other Raba is simply to allow it to have the, um, the fertilizer arms as well as this fertilizer tank that was the big update for the uh the other model what is the model number on that list it here. Bring that up. so the eight the, the 180 is the one we got the steger series that's right the steger series was updated and simply it also allows it to have the tanks that we have so you get the sprayer and the sprayer tanks 
that is a big option, a big update for, the, for that particular model. But this new one, I like this one better. This one's cool. So it obviously has the tanks. Uh, you've got a couple different wheel configurations, some color configurations, not a lot, but a couple. So let's go take a look at it. I'll show you, to, I'll show them all to you because I'm pretty excited. But this is PC only, of course. Let's jump inside. Listen to this thing fire up. <laughs> Sounds so good. Um, so the idea, I guess, is to put the uh, the arms on the front. Interesting. Um, I haven't seen one that does this before. It is a four-wheel steer model. I think as we'd expect. Interior does look good. The odd thing I found with this is trying to get that tank on. You do need to use something to lift it up. If you just drive around the tank, you cannot connect the tank directly to the three-point hitch or it will not automatically connect to the side that I've been able to do. I've had to go in and, well, they recommend, and they're in the images they show, they show it with a, with a telehandler. So we bring our telehandler up. It's on a pallet. We'll bring this on up. And through all my testing, the only way I can get it to connect is to either have it kind of sitting above. It doesn't have to be that close from what I see. Let's see if this works there. Nope. Yeah, see, it's, it's not even all that close. You just have to have it kind of within the range, and then it connects. And it gets rid of that pallet. That being said, my telehandler is like jammed inside. The Let's see if we can pull the telehandler out. Is it going to come out nice and slow? Oh, that's not bad. So that's the only way I've been able to get it to connect other than throwing it up there manually. But uh, you need to have it kind of sitting up on top. It will not connect from the ground anyway. And then to disconnect, you just hit the button again. It shows up on the pallet. And then you can go in with your telehandler and grab it again. Oh, get out of here. And pull this thing back off. back off there. Come on. There we go. So that's the only way I've been able to connect it. I think it's kind of cool. Um, we'll take a look at the storage because there are there's a few, few options with this. Not a ton. There's some interesting tire options, I guess. But uh, the big thing, of course, is the tanks. Which, well, since we're over here right now, you're going to find that in your crop protection area. You'll find the, the sprayer and the tank both in the crop protection, of course. Like you'd expect. And then for the tractor itself, medium tractors, you got the Rabo 180, 100,000 bucks. It looks cool. European, of course, but uh, I don't know. I think it's a cool looking tractor. I don't know if I'd ever use it for anything I'm going to do it for, but you never know. I might find some reason to use it. <laughs> um, the wheel setup, like I said, wheel setup, you got twins. You got narrows as well. Look at the rims on these. It looks like bicycle tires. <laughs> different looking rims. I don't know if we have anything that looks quite like that. And that's pretty much it. Standard twins and uh, narrows. Uh, the rim colors can be changed to three different options. Pretty pretty straightforward. And then your main colors, you have a couple more options, but still not a ton. So it looks all right. Well, you're maxing out around 100000 bucks, And then, of course, the additional port parts are going to cost you a little extra as well. What are our costs on that? Five grand and three, 35 and 5700 respectively. That kind of makes sense. Cool. Well, that's the Raba. I think that is it for the new of tractors, new mods. The rest are all updates, I believe. Let's take a quick look on the screen here. Um, oh, we do have, sorry, the herbicide pack, which does include a bunch of stuff. So herbicides production package. It does include, does it have the pictures of it? It does include, I didn't put them in the game or in my uh, store. No, that doesn't show it on here. I didn't bring them out, but it's two trailers, which we already technically have. So we'll, we'll show those off just at the store. Um, let me see here. Are they under miscellaneous? I think they're under miscellaneous, aren't they? There are they. Yeah, there they are. So once again, it's the Joskin and the Lizard. It's just now they allowed it to be, there are specialty built trailers to be able to work with the global companies, which we're going to talk about next. So just be aware that if you buy or if you get this pack, you do need to use these trailers to transport the liquids that come with them. Make any sense? So global companies, I know it's DJ's favorite thing to talk about. Once again, PC-only mods, guys, and you obviously need to have the global companies mods in order, in, order, in order to enable all this stuff. But this is all the pieces of equipment that come with this pack. So there's a couple different things here, and we'll look at it all in uh, in the store. So you can see them all. Boom. So, <laughs> boo. Yeah, of course, DJ. So acid storage, urea storage, um, the the acid production, urea production, and herbicide production now. Haven't tested a single one of these yet. They just came out. We need to test all these to figure out exactly how they work. I'm curious to see how, especially the herbicide, but I mean, the, the assuming the urea is going to be your DEF fluid. I think this is, is this the DEF fluid one right here? I don't know even know which one's which one anymore. But we should be able to bring up the menu. I can't even do it on this one. No, we're not going to bring up menus. 
So I think it's just if it's just water we need to bring into this and then maybe some fertilizer and then it produces like urea, something along those lines. So we can bring this up and take a quick look at some of them here. So and then the, the storage packs, I think they'd be exactly as you'd expect. But I haven't tested a single one of them yet, but they're in here. Open overview menu. Let's see. Uh, liquid manure okay, and diesel and that outputs urea. So there we go. I didn't even know that. So we need to put in liquid manure, manure and diesel to get urea out. Interesting. That's two interesting ones to have to, have to bring brought in there. Uh, let's see. So that's the acid. That's the acetic acid production. Interesting. Uh, herbicide. This is the one I was more curious about. What do we need for this one? Water and we need acid. So, <laughs> so you need to do like a triple production in order to get to this point. Now we should be able to. I have a funny feeling. It's gonna let us. No, you actually have to bring it in. You cannot autofill this. Uh, no. Nope. Yeah, you can't autofill. Wow. Okay. And then let's see, urea production. What do we need for urea production? Is it this one? Boom. Once again, liquid manure diesel. Did I already do that one? I already did urea. See the acidic production? Silage and diesel. So it's silage and diesel, but you also get compost. Man, okay, interesting. There's a couple different options with all of these. So um, we're going to have to go through the global companies and try and figure out each one of these, what they produce. But there's certainly interesting products. Um, it's too bad the, that the fertilizer, you're going to need to actually make what is it? The acid first in order to make the fertilizer or the herbicide. Sorry. You need to make, you need, it's like a double stop. Uh, it's, I like that. That's kind of cool. I like when people, when they're the mods kind of work off each other that way. Um, it's just a lot of work. And then of course the storage facilities are over here. There you go. That's it. That's all. Excellent. Those are the lights on Stolen Valley. Can't say I've had any trouble with anything on Stolen Valley but when I checked it out. Uh, you do need, yes, you need global companies. You need the two main ones, the icons and the main global companies mod. That's the only ones you do need. Perfect. So let me just double check and make sure we talk about everyone that's in here. I'm pretty sure we did. Uh, back is on up. Boom. Um, the rest are all updates. So some trailer updates. Fairly minor stuff as far as that goes. Uh, the pallet storage pack has got an update as well. Um, nothing crazy. Just you know, what is it? Oh, it changed the time. That's right. So it would change the time from when it was put in to when you can pull it back out. Um, I think a lot of the global company stuff has that kind of an issue. So some of the updates like that make sense. Uh, the rest are buildings. Yeah, nothing too crazy there. We talked about self-marketing. Uh, the Curveland got an update. Uh, nothing too crazy. Nothing, uh, just, just doesn't destroy swath anymore. Okay, I didn't even know it would destroy the swath to begin with. I didn't know there was a problem with this mod. Anyways, there you go. That's it for the brand new mods. Let's jump over and take a quick look and see what is kind of on the docket. It's kind of quieted down a little bit. Um, yeah, it's kind of quieted down just a touch. Nothing too, too crazy with, with this. Like I was just looking through the PC mods. What do we have here? I've got 22 PC mods. Only down, we're down to what, 11 for console? Is that, or six for console, I mean? Five for console. There we go. Yeah, five. Only five of them for console. Is it 22 for PC? That can't be right. Anyways, I must have wrote that down. That was yesterday. 19 for PC. There we go. That makes more sense. I think I had it right. They're uh, relatively, it's not, nothing Nothing that stands out in my mind here of the 19. So the 1000 series that came out today, Agromax MSP7, the Animal Food Pack, the Baylor add-on, the Bremont BB18, uh, the digital display for the global companies. I don't know what that could, why would we need an update for this? I th seem to think this is fairly straightforward and generic. Uh, IMT Plows, Bale Trailer, the Lizard MKS135, uh, Lodge Set Hybrid, Fertilizer spreaders, New Holland spreader pack still hasn't come out. I was surprised this one hasn't come out yet. That seemed like that'd be straightforward too. The Pol uh, Polaska Carnia, like a map as well. We have another map, the Uplands map as well. Cool Trolley and then a couple seasons of Geos. And then finally down to PC or to console, we have the Fent, which came out today. The Josk and Aguatrans, which came out today. The Curveland, which came out today. Uh, and then we have the TF140 BP95, which will be an update. And then of course the Seasons, um, a Seasons update as well, Seasons Geo update. Uh, currently 130 mods still waiting to be tested and eight work days is the average time. So still quite a bit of stuff that's sitting waiting, but the list today seems to have dropped down quite a bit compared to what it used to be at the last couple of days. The mega pack is gone, Richard. It's gone. I don't know what that it's, but it's just an update, right? That, so I'm surprised that like what could fail in that? It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> oh man. So that's going to do it. That's all the new mods that have been released today and the mods are coming out in the next week or the next couple of days, I should say. There you go. I am doing well, Keegan. Thanks for stopping by. So that's going to do it for us today, guys. I don't know if you have any questions on any of the stuff we talked about here. As always, we're still trying to figure out the format for this. I need to come up with a new system still. Or not a new system, but I'm just going to tweak the system. So I appreciate you guys coming and hanging out with me. 
Uh, Goldcrest Valley has disappeared. You're right, it has. Late again. Sorry, Smokey. <laughs> but if you're looking to uh, catch up with us on any of the other platforms, you can look right down on the side there. There's we're over on Twitter, on Facebook, and on Discord as well. And don't forget on Twitch. You can come find us on Twitch. We were streaming way too late on Twitch last night. Way too late on Twitch. So check us out. You can find the links down in the description below for all those. And of course, like I said, Discord as well. There is, I think, 700 members over on Discord right now. If you want to come chat with us or have any questions on any of the mods I discussed there, I'm on there all the time as well. I'm going to be trying to stream tonight on farm, for Farm Sim on YouTube here. Check the, make sure you just keep chat tabs on the community channel. We'll see if we can do that. No, We'll see what happens. We'll see if we can get it done or not. Um, I can't guarantee it. I've got some stuff going on. I'm going to try to stream tonight. I'll post something on the community tab if I can or if I can't. Anyways, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Uh, if you have anything else, come over to our Discord. Check us out on Facebook or Twitter. And other than that, I'll catch you guys later on. Have a good one, guys. Peace out.